Hi, it's Mary White again for my friends at the West Seattle Thriftway. And oh, you guys, today's all about chili. You know, chili is typically, um, you know, meat, meat and beans, chicken and beans, you know, there's all different kinds of ways to do chili. And what I've been noticing at the Thriftway is the people at the butcher shop are freaking awesome. And one of the things they do there, which I love, is they make their own sausage. So I came up with a recipe for today that's all about how to use this sausage in a really good way in a chili. Um, I love the hot, spicy Italian. It's really good. And this mixed with like the, like the sweet Italian sausage is really delicious. This is um, fresh, they grind it every day. And you can use it, well, obviously in the chili recipe, but pretty much anytime you need sausage. This in a meatloaf takes it over the top. So in this recipe, what you do is you saute the ground sausage for about five minutes, okay? When that's nice and brown, then I like to add these Uli's sausage. Now Uli is a guy, he started out down at the Pike Place Market and he makes the most incredible sausages. And this is an andouille. It really gives it a, a nice flavor. But you could use chorizo if you wanted to have it a little more, you know, Mexican. You could use almost any kind of link sausage, really. You know, the great thing about this sausage too, not only is it obviously delicious in a chili, but what you can do, especially if there's a game or you're tailgating or something, take a can of this Rotel, okay? It's at the Thriftway, it's in the tomato aisle. It's good stuff, it's diced up onions and chilies. Mix it with some of this cooked sausage and some softened cream cheese. Mix it all up, oh, dipping heaven. So the ground sausage has been mm, sauteing and getting glorious for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna cut up the Uli's sausage and put that in and that'll saute for about five minutes. And now I'm gonna put in the vegetables. This is basically, it's a pepper, it's an onion, and it's a bunch of garlic. Um, I like to use either a green or a yellow pepper in this. The green gives you a little bit more of a Louisiana flavor. The yellow is a bit milder. So it just pretty much depends on, you know, which part of the country you wanna be in. This is when we turn all this goodness into chili, okay? Cumin, obviously. And um, I like a lot, so this is like a lot. <laughs> it's about two, three tablespoons um, of cumin, okay? Chili powder, pretty much to your taste. Um, I like it, and so we're looking at about a tablespoon of chili powder. Goes right in. The really fun part, bottle of beer, nice dark beer. And what this will do is it'll deglaze the bottom of the pan. You know, get all that good brown stuff off the bottom and it just gives it a great flavor. So, pour that in. There we go. Tomatoes, a can of really good tomatoes. In any time that isn't like August, you're probably gonna have to use canned tomatoes and when you do, get the best ones you can afford. At the Thriftway, the San Marzano, so good. They're, I mean, they're freakishly delicious. So, I just dump them in and I got the whole tomatoes this time because, well, I just like them better. I like the texture of them. They're not so tidy. So what you can do is you can go in with your scissors or with your hands and just crush them up. Um, just because I'm trying not to get my clothes real dirty, <laughs> I'm gonna use the scissors. But it's kind of fun. So we have tomato paste, also known as Tuscan toothpaste. Um, about a tablespoon, so about like that. Again, um, you know, it's on the recipe, it's pretty much what's going to work for you. This is going to give it more tomato flavor. It's going to make it thicker. I really like it. And then you got to have some beans. Uh, kidney beans go into this one. And um, two to three cans, depends on how much you're making, drained and rinsed. So what we're going to do is just make sure it's all blended, okay? And then just cover it until the tomatoes have kind of lost some of their firmness and everything is blended together. And like I said earlier, this could be 20 minutes, it could be an hour, depends on how much of a rush you're in. Um, let it simmer uncovered, because um, there's a lot of liquid in here. And in about, I'm gonna say half an hour from now, we're gonna have delicious chili. Hang on. So our chili has been simmering for only about 15, 20 minutes. Again, because we use that really, really delicious sausage from the Thriftway, it doesn't take as long as like a more like a, you know, chuck roast or something. You know, when you cut up meat and put it in your chili, it takes all day. You don't have to do that here. And the wonderful thing is because there's so much flavor in that, 
beautiful locally made uli sausage and then the ground meat from the thriftway this is a really really good <laughs> recipe trust me um, so i just put it in a bowl now now you can top it with i got a little cilantro so that's you know that's real purdy but you know you could do of course the cheddar uh some well i don't know diced avocado maybe some sour cream whatever you like to put on your chili is going to work here okay the most important thing you need to know is that for a really simple, easy, incredibly delicious chili, try the sausage chili. The recipe that I came up with for today is on the West Seattle Thriftway website, westseattlethriftway.com. And you can also get this amazing chili recipe on my website, thepantryraid.com. But whatever you do, you guys, I'm not kidding about this sausage. It's so good. Go to the Thriftway, get some. You're going to be really happy. I'm going to have chili now. See ya.